we are in packet tracer to demonstrate the idea that how to create virtual LAN using multiple switches. So we have selected two switches and uh, in this switch, so this is maybe switch one. So in this switch you can see we have some of the computers which are in VLAN 10 and there are some of the computers which are in VLAN 20 and in this switch some of the computers are in VLAN 10 and some of the computer computer means these ports so these ports are the members of VLAN 20 and uh, the configuration is simple I have given the IP addresses to them so this is 192.168.1.1 and this .1.2 so this is one subnet this second subnet so this is one subnet and these, this subnet is actually a part of the VLAN 10 and this subnet as well this subnet so these are actually same subnet I mean to say so this is a single subnet and that, that actually forms uh, VLAN 20 for us so green VLAN 10 and this second color is VLAN 20. So we have two VLANs using two switches and both of the VLANs are available on both of the switches. Now we have to allow the traffic to flow between these two switches. Now I have already configured that these two computers are the members of VLAN 10 and these two computers are these two ports are the members of VLAN 20 on this switch. That is easy, you can do because we did in the previous video as well. And to prove that, for example, if I want to, if I'm, I, I, I'm taking simulation mode, if I want to ping from this PC to this PC, then you see what happened. This uh, switch has to find out the MAC address, so it has to broadcast that message to only its own VLAN. So this you can see this packet didn't go to this this VLAN because this is different and this is what we want. So we created two different broadcast domains. So this is what we wanted to do. So it means we have successfully created two VLANs at least on this switch. But on this switch I haven't done this thing because to show you that how to do this thing. Otherwise we have done in the previous video as well. But for, for illustration, we can see the same thing. If we say, for example, we want to ping from this to this, let's see what the switch is going to do. So in simulation, start. You see, the switch doesn't have the MAC address. It means to find out the MAC address. It is sending the packet to all of the nodes, even if they are from uh, different uh, VLAN. So it's going to broadcast to all of the ports. And this is what we, we don't want. We want to create a different subdomain. So it means we need to create uh, VLAN. So for that, now these three computers are, uh, are on fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, 0 slash 2, and 0 slash 3 ports. So I need to go to those inter interfaces for that. I just need config T to global configuration mode and from here to go to interface and then I say range fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, 2, 3. So I'm selecting all these three ports. So I have select all these three ports of this switch because these three ports are the members of VLAN 10. So I say that switch port switch port mode access enter and uh, now we need to assign this access VLAN 10 to these all ports so switch port access VLAN 10 so I have not created VLAN on this but this will be created with this command so VLAN 10 so with this command access VLAN does not exist creating VLAN so this command has created the VLAN and it has assigned these three ports to that VLAN. So we created one VLAN on this one and to create the next VLAN that is VLAN 20 only one computer and that is on uh, 0 slash 4 port of this uh, switch. 
So go to con uh, global configuration mode and then interface path Ethernet 0 slash 4. And here again the switch port mode access and then switch port access VLAN. So access VLAN and this time 20. So this 20 because we want this port to be in VLAN 20. So we created a second VLAN on this switch as well. So we have created two VLANs. Now what we want, now we want the communication to establish between these two switches so that computer from this VLAN should be able to communicate with this. Okay. So let's see these all computers. So these all computers have been assigned by IP address. Let's see, I want to verify that 192.168.14 is the IP address of this PC. So 192.168.1.4 is the IP of this PC, okay? So in the same way, I have assigned the IP addresses to all these PCs. Now we want to connect these two switches together, and uh, we know that these uh, these are different number similar devices. For that, we need a crossover cable. So this is a crossover cable because for similar devices we need crossover. And let's suppose we are using the fast Ethernet 0 slash 10 port on this switch. And you can use any port, but for easiness to remember this, I'm using fast Ethernet 0 slash uh, 10 port on this switch as well. So we have connected them using crossover cable. Now we want to configure this port as a write as a trunk port. So first we need to go to that interface. So config T will take us to the global configuration mode. Yes, interface pass Ethernet 0 slash 10. We are in this port. This is this port. Now we want to make that switch port. So switch port mode trunk. Here. So we configured here. And let's say we want to just copy this running config to startup config. Say did it. On this as well, let's go to the same port. So sorry for that. I press the wrong key, so it is going to resolve the contacting the domain server. And in some of the videos we discussed that how to disable it, but I haven't disabled on this, so we need to wait. It's trying to resolve it to resolve the name into IP address. This is the job of domain server. So anyway we, we have to repeat the same thing on the same port. So this is also the F0 slash 10 port on this switch as well. So first we will go to that port or to that interface of the switch and then we just use that switch port mode trunk. So in this way we will configure the trunking protocol on both of the switches. And then this should establish a trunking link between the switches and communication should uh, take place smoothly. Now on this PC as well, we go to 0 slash 10 fast Ethernet port. So from here, global configuration mode and then interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 10. We are in that interface, this one. And here we use command switch for more trunk enter. Now with this command trunking protocol has been established between these switches. It means trunk has been established between these switches and they should be able to um, talk to each other. Now for example, if we want to send some data, for example, in simulation mode from this PC which is part of VLAN 10 to this PC which is also the part of VLAN 10 but this is on, other, on another switch. So let's see, is it possible? See what happens. This switch is going to send there and then it goes to this page and let's see what this switch is going to this switch is going to broadcast to all the PCs which are members of this VLAN. 
and we wanted this so now this is this pc is going to respond so i hope you can see that this is uh, this is how it works uh, in the same way let's check another maybe pc from this vlan to this vlan so this pc to this pc and start simulation so let's see what's going on so this piece this switch doesn't have this address sending this one to this switch as well and this switch should only send to this pc you see because these pcs are not the part of this vlan so only this switch this pc has been sent and this pc is responding clear so this is this is how we can create virtual lane between multiple switches using trunking protocol and uh, hope you uh, you can also do the same thing in packet tracer and if you have any question you can ask me in the comments and uh, thank you thank you very much for your time